What do you mean, why am I recording? Why do you have your phone like that? Is there a problem with that? I have a problem with that. What's your problem? Please step out of the office, yeah, please. Thank sure. you. Keep going. Okay. Thank you. Oh, real professional. You too. This is how you treat the citizens out. Can we go down and talk with an officer? For what? Because I'm uncomfortable. Hi. I have a gentleman here recording me, and I'd like him removed. So I can pull records off your phone as well? Well, you can see it online when you make an ass of yourselves, yeah. I'm uncomfortable. She's uncomfortable. So, okay. Yeah. Would I you, reached out. Would you be able to do me a favor? Sure. I feel a little uncomfortable with the cameras around this building. Would you be able to shut those off? I can't. Just tell me what you need. Well, I didn't ask for anything yet. Okay. Then you can leave. You don't even know what I do here. Maybe you should tell me. Go. Yeah. Really. What's going on, everyone? This is Press NH Now over here today in the town of Haverhill, New Hampshire at the town hall. Today we're going to be conducting a First Amendment audit to see if they respect our rights to film here in public. Today's date is April 25th, 2022. Please make sure you go like, share, and subscribe to my channel at Press NH Now. I appreciate all of your support. Also check out my playlist to see some videos you might not have seen in the past. Hit that like button, let all your friends and family know about my activism in and around the New England states. Always check your description. Donations are greatly appreciated. They do help me continue my activism in and around the New England area. We're going to get right to it here, guys. Enjoy the video. That is correct. He is Look at that. Notice you are being video and audio recorded. How'd they know I was coming? Superintendent of the schools. So here's your cameras. Town of Haverhill, Code of Conduct, Ethics. Piece of candy. Um, not at the moment. I am gonna take recording? a piece of candy though. Can I take a piece of candy? You can take a piece of candy, awesome. but why are you recording? What do you mean? Why am I recording? Why do you have your phone like that? Is there a problem with that? I have a problem with that. What's your problem? It's not necessary to do. Is that your opinion? I have or? Right of privacy. Not in about public space. You don't. I'm just documenting my visit here. I don't see the issue. Is there something you need in this office? Possibly. What? What I don't need is this right here. Just tell me what you need. Well, I didn't ask for anything yet. Okay, then you can leave. If you don't leave a public any... area? Hey, I've got a gentleman in here that's recording me, and I'm not comfortable with that. And I tried to call the PD, and nobody's over there. Huh. Why are you calling the police? You think you have rights to privacy in a public area? You're a public servant. You work for the people. gentleman here recording me and I'd like him removed. Huh? <laughs> removed for recording? Good luck with that. So he's making me uncomfortable. Oh, feelings. Are they the feelings enforcement now or law enforcement? So that's okay. Christina Hebert. Who's that? Do you have service that you need? Yeah, I, I have a question. Who, who that? is that that you called? 
it's none of your business. It was my personal phone call. Oh, really? What they tell you? It's none of your business. I know what it was they told my you. My personal phone call. Okay. Well, I'm going to continue my business, and you continue okay. yours. So you have a great day. Is there any other issues that I need to be aware of? I'm asking you a question. You asked me if I needed help. Now I'm not asking I'm you not for your help. I'm interested in talking to you. Oh, How's okay. That? So if I have business, you'll serve me, though, right? If you have business. Okay. All yeah. right. Thank you. Yeah, no. I don't want to stop you from going in there. Sorry. I need a dog tag for my puppy dog. I saw your sign and remember that I have to do it before May 1st. <laughs> Thank you, Christina. I appreciate it. I think we all learned something new today, possibly. Let's go take a walk upstairs. I'll meet you up there. Superintendent. That's a 2012 Chevy Tahoe color green. Hi. Hi, how are you? What uh, what office is this? It's the SAU 23. Okay, all right. I didn't know if you guys did separate things up on this floor with the SAU? No. Okay. I mean, you guys all work together? Yeah. Okay. Nice. All right. Cool. Can I help you? Appreciate it. Um, no, I was just asking a simple question. Um, just kind of see what offices are up here. Um, possibly need to pull some records, but I'm not sure yet. You possibly need what? Pull some records, like public records. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's all. Do you have a business card? Nope. You don't? <laughs> no. That's okay. Um, so all your information is online just in case I need to get any public records I can email you or you would email the superintendent okay do they have a business card or a name I don't have that okay um you can check with her, her secretaries over in the next Dawn. office to, right Dawn yeah. okay. or you can just email her okay it's on the website okay I appreciate it no worries thank you you're the only one everybody else is on vacation I heard um <laughs> yeah are these uh districts right here the so you got Warren, Bath, Benton, Haverhill, and Paramount. Nice. Yeah, no. What? Well, that's kind of um, that's information that goes to board meetings and things, and you shouldn't really pull it out. Oh no, I, I wasn't oh, pulling okay. it out. I was just see, kind of seeing what it was. Okay. I didn't know if it was like you know public documents or public information at all. Yeah, like forms and stuff like that. That's all. But it, it is viewable from a public space. You know what I mean? Well. <laughs> I mean, if there's any personal information on there, um, they should probably be turned around, that's all. So amount of $44. But I, I won't disturb them, though. Okay. Do you have a business card? I don't, actually. I need to actually get some. Okay, and um, your name is? I, I don't give out that personal information. Yeah, okay. it's a private information. But are you a taxpayer? I mean, how well, you... everybody is. That works, yeah. Right, but a yeah. taxpayer of this district. I mean, do I have to be a taxpayer in this district to well, you're be kind here? Of, you're filming things, and I'm just kind yeah. of wondering what's going on. I, yeah, I'm just kind of doing a tour of the building, kind of asking my public servants some certain questions regarding. So your public servants is being a taxpayer. No, you're a public servant. Right, but are you? Which a, are we a tax? You're a taxpayer. We're your public servant? Well, I'm sure you get federal grants, even if I didn't live in this town. I'm sure you're getting federal grants. So, either either way, it's all the same money. Okay. It's all the people, you know. I'm no different than anybody else in any other state or city or town. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, anyway. No. Okay. We just don't very often get... Uh people coming in to video us and oh, yeah. asking us questions and not... You don't, you're not used to people coming in here and asking questions? I mean, if I'm, if I want to know some information about the town or, you know, what you guys do for the public, I'm pretty sure that's pretty professional to answer those questions. Well, I think you probably should have an appointment. I have to have an appointment to ask my public servants questions? Well, you know, we're running on a skeleton crew right now mm -hmm. and you're here. Okay. Um, and we're not comfortable answering. So you're not questions. telling me, so you're telling me that you don't have time to answer questions? I'm telling you that I think you need to make an appointment with the superintendent. Okay. Okay. But if I have a question for you personally, 
You don't even know what I do here. I thought maybe you should tell me. Go? Yeah. Really? Yes, I, yes. So you don't want to tell me what you do in this I, you office? You know what? I'm sorry. I'm not comfortable talking with you. And so you really need to go through with your, the superintendent. Is it because I'm recording? Because if I didn't record, it wouldn't be an issue. You don't give your information. Why should I? Why do you feel that that's necessary? It's my right to keep okay. that private. John. So you don't, you don't want to answer any more questions? Is, no. Because I'm not going to, you know. Can you please step out of the office, yeah, please? Thank sure. you. Keep going. Okay. Thank you. Oh, real professional. You too. This is how you treat the citizens, huh, of Gabriel? <laughs> See that? Now you know why I'm here, right? Pull out a camera and people scatter and close doors and don't answer questions to the general public. So it looks real great on Haverhill. That's all. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder if it's any different if I didn't have a camera. Maybe it's worse. Because if this is how you guys act on a camera, I can only imagine how you guys act off of the camera. And you know what's really ironic? Is that you guys are filming and recording all around this building, but you feel uncomfortable with mine. So if we turn the tables around and I ask you to turn them off because I feel uncomfortable, you know, it, it's just the irony is real. Well, if you wanted the building videos mm -hmm. I, I can fully turned off, it. then that's not us. No, I didn't say that. You. We just rent space. Here. Well, I don't have an issue with it. I mean, you guys just tell me, oh, I feel uncomfortable with the camera and I don't want to answer any of your questions because of it. It's just the irony behind it is that you guys are filming and recording everybody that walks in and out of this building that we pay for as citizens. You understand that? But when the tables are turned and you guys close doors and don't answer questions, it, it's a little ironic that you guys pull that card on people because we're recording. I feel uncomfortable. Well, what if I felt uncomfortable? You'd shut those off? You wouldn't, right? So why would I'm I? I'm not able to personally. Yeah. So. I'm not either. So. <laughs> If you guys are uncomfortable in a public setting working for the people, then I suggest you probably get another job in a private sector. We'll take that into consideration. I definitely would. All right. Thank you, Don. I appreciate it. The police department entrance. It's right there? Yeah. Oh, it is. Okay. I'm not, I was just asking just in case I need to go over there. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks. Thank you. Hey, Dylan. Good, you? Good, thanks. Hello? Hi. Yeah, um, I need to do a FOIA request. I'm wondering if I could do that with you. I'm sorry. You like a public records FOIA request? Um... You know, I don't know how to do that. It's so, literally just a FOIA request. I put in the statute, and then I request what I want. You can you... email that to the superintendent. Okay. Okay. Is she here? No. No. Okay. But she does check her email on a regular basis. She'll be back in the office at the end of the week. At the end of the week? Yes. And okay. And your name, and I'll let her know that she... But I need to put it in today. I don't need to wait five, four or five days, because it's actually five days for a response. And then, so that makes it actually 10. So I need to put in the request today. So it can be processed okay, so within the send, five days. Right, so you can send her an email. But that she's not in until the end of the week. So therefore, she's not going to be able to process it until the five days of responding legally at that time. Do you understand what I'm saying? I, I do understand yeah. what you're saying. But you can email it. She checks her email on a regular basis. Every day? Um, yeah, I believe so. Even when she's off? Yeah. Okay. Do you, can I have your name so I can, can pull I those? Can your name? I don't get my information. I mean, I do have my tag right here if you want to look at it. Ma'am, I need to pull records on you, so I need your name. So I'm going to be filing a complaint now because I can't pull records on you if you don't give me your name. Huh. That's real professional, huh? Okay. Hi. So I'm trying to pull records on her um so i need to are you recording yeah oh that's okay no i don't, I don't mind um 
I am going to pull the record though off your phone. So just don't delete it. I just want to make sure you're following the laws of request, public records request. So why are, so why can pull records off your phone as well? Well, you can see it online when you make an of yourselves, yeah. You can okay. look, at, look at it on that, okay. where thousands of people will be seeing how you conduct yourselves to the public. And they'll also see yours too. So I just want to inform you, don't delete that. I don't mind if you record, I really don't. I don't, yeah, I could pull the, I feel uncomfortable too, but I don't, I don't pull that. Okay. Can um, we go down and talk with an officer? For what? Because I'm uncomfortable okay. right now. Okay. Why? I mean, I'm not, I'm not any danger to anybody. I'm not, just asking my public servant some questions, I'm trying to pull records now and she's refusing. So. This must be the squad, huh? Hey. How you doing? How you doing? Good. May I uh, get your name badge number? Yeah. My name is Detective Matt Yao with the Haverhill Police Department. How do you spell that? Y-A-O. Okay. Nice. Do you have a badge number? Eight. You... Number eight. Yeah. Detective? Yep. Oh, wow. What's he detecting? <laughs> uh, oh. Um, yeah. I'm uncomfortable. She's uncomfortable. So, okay. Yeah. Would I you, reached out. Would you be able to do me a favor? Sure. I feel a little uncomfortable with the cameras around this building. Would right. you be able to shut those off? I can't. Yeah, me neither. Okay. See? Um, do you mind if I speak with you for a moment? No, no, no. I'll be right back with you if that's okay. Just well, yeah, I mean, with her side. I'd like to listen in just so you're not, you know, conspiring. Oh, no. I just want to hear what her, what she has to say. She can't say it right here? I'll come back and talk to you if that's okay. All right? Okay. Can I, can I listen in? Yeah, it is a public sure. office. Okay. But she does have a right to talk privately. No, in a so, private office she can. Yep. So we're going to step into her office. Okay. okay. I'm going to step into the publicly accessible area right here then. Is this a public area? Of course it is. Okay. Her office is not. And they're actually locking the doors now. Okay. Which, I, I don't know anything about that. So. Well, you should. I mean, they I can't be. I locked my office, so I locked my door. Okay, that's, that's understandable. All. Yeah, she's in there and she actually locked her office. Okay. And I'm trying, trying to actually pull records with her. Okay. And, she, and I can't because she's refusing to identify herself. Okay. Um, so there's which, which office? the finance. Okay. Yeah. I was okay. just kind of asking simple, basic questions. And okay. They feel uncomfortable now that they don't want to answer because of a camera. All right. Well, so. you're, well we're I'll, asking you questions as well. Yeah. I don't have to answer your questions. I don't work for you. Yeah. That's okay. I'll be right back with All you. Right. Okay. Thank you. Do you have a business card? Maybe I you can actually, give it to yeah. me up. Okay. Absolutely. Awesome. Look at that. It's convenient. There you are. Awesome. Man. Thank you. No problem. No conspiracies now. Education guys, you'd never believe it until pigs flew, and here you go, pigs flying. Okay. So can I just ask what you are informing her of? I was just explaining to her that what you're doing here, you're allowed to do. Okay. Um, it's just business as usual. Yeah. You know. That's it. So. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, as um, long as I'm not disturbing, you know, breaching the peace. Absolutely. Going into restricted areas, yep. um, stuff like that. It well, it's it, not business as usual. For, <laughs> well, yeah, yeah but this is far as we're obviously concerned. it's a, it's a little unusual. Uh, it is, it is, but yeah. they have to understand, you know. And this is where you come in, yep. you know, is that you educate them, um, which they should already know anyway. That's what we talked about. And, yeah, you know, it's just it's not something they experience every day. So yeah. come in filming and things like that. Yeah. Um, so it just caught her a little off guard. Yeah, and that's why I, I do this. Give her a chance in a, in a private area to speak. You know. Yeah. No, I understand. Um, yeah, as long as, long as you're educating her on, on my rights Absolutely. and just teaching her that, look, it may be a little uncomfortable, um, but it, it can't stop me from doing what I'm doing as long as I'm not breaching the peace or being disorderly, swearing, yeah. yelling, screaming. You're not here to cause any harm? No, no. I'm, I'm, I'm literally familiar with your YouTube channel. Are you really? I'm a fan. So. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I like cool. it. I like nice. what you do. Yeah. I think it's good to be testing your constitutional rights because exactly. everybody has yeah. those and you should be aware of them. Well, I appreciate so. that. It's very professional. I would have been more comfortable... If you had explained that to me, see that's as the, to why you were here and what, well, what you I did. told you. So it's kind of like the experiment thing. He doesn't want people to, to know necessarily what he's doing. No, because so. if I do that, right, and then everybody is all of a sudden doing exactly what they're supposed to be doing, which they should be doing anyway. Um, and you, it's not something I see all the time. You was know, there, was there something that you needed help with getting? Because you were um, having an issue. Well, or? so she locked the door over there. Okay. Um, it is a publicly accessible area. Okay. Um, I don't really condone that. It's not yours. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. If people need to go in and out, they should be able to do freely. Sure. Uh, as long as she's in the office working, uh, it should be open to yep. the public. Um, the other thing is, I know you can't really help with it, um, but she told me that the superintendent, um, she won't give me her name. Okay. Um, I know you can't 
enforce her to give me that name, um, but she should do it being professional. Okay. Um, the only thing I'm saying is because I'm trying to pull records on her now, and I can't because I don't know her name, I don't know her position. Okay. Um, and then she told me to contact the superintendent. Okay. Um, and she's on vacation until, I guess, the end of the week, which gives okay. the, the, the deadline for a response of a public record, which is five days. Yep. Um, therefore, it would be 10 days um, before I get a response. Okay. So I need to put in a public records request and have it submitted in process within five days for a response. I can't okay. do that if she's on vacation. Yep. Uh, somebody's got to take that record today. Okay. Um, so you, you want to file a 91A request? Yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I can't do that. SAU? Yeah. I mean, so the superintendent will receive that, but yep. she's on vacation. So okay. there's a so possible... So she wouldn't so be able to respond she, to it. Within five days. Yep. Okay. So, so therefore, it would be 10 days. To, yeah. to get that submitted to make sure... It's at least being processed. Right. Um, exactly. All you I need is a response. Within five no. Days. Yeah. All, yep. of, all I need is a response within five days by right. law. Yep. Um, after that, you know, you guys gather the records and release them as, you know, as time goes. Well, okay. public... It is public knowledge. I understand. Uh, Lori Melanson is the superintendent here. So. Okay. No, I understand that. But if she's on vacation, somebody else in line has to take those records. Because if she doesn't respond within five days, she's breaking the law. That's just the, the, what the statute says. It's yeah. five days for a response. After that, they have to release them at a reasonable reasonable time frame. Okay. Uh, depending on cost, you time, know. you know. Get for your information for you because I'm not too familiar with the process. Like okay. Here yeah. no, neither, um. <laughs> neither am I. I'm fairly new to this position. So. Yeah. Well, I mean, the process literally is... It, it, Somebody, anybody in this office can take the request. Right. They, it's up to them to forward it to the right department. Yep. After that, they have five days to respond. If the person who usually takes that request is not here, somebody next in line has to take that request and process it at least and respond within five days. Right. That's going to be an issue if we don't get this done today. Okay. It could possibly become an issue. Yeah. And, and, and that's I, what we want to make sure that yeah. we're following that. And I want um, you guys to be in compliance with yeah. it also. And that's another reason why I'm here. So, I mean, we could just give it to somebody in this office, but I just would like to find out who best to direct it to. Exactly. So that you get, you I know, mean, she could take the request yeah. and then start processing it. We can do that. You know, and, and yeah. to tell you the truth and, you know, no offense, but I mean, she did create a public record on her phone by recording me, which is fine. I don't, uh, you know, I'm not, you know, unsettled by it, but that is public record, you know, uh, knowledge too. So I can request that. And I, ju I just want to inform you, do not delete that because it is public record. Um, so they're going to be going through your phone and requesting that, that video or picture of you. Okay. So yeah. um, do you, did you have a written request? Did you I, I don't. Did you file or? Yeah, I, I don't have any paper. I don't have any pen. Okay. I don't have any information for her. Um, okay. I already have your name, so I can just request that. I okay. can do it on the same request. Okay. Uh, do you so. guys have an information request one that you usually use? Or I, know I don't even know. I've not okay. dealt with this before. Okay. Because it's usually the superintendent that does that. Okay. okay. So who's the highest up in this office right now? That would be that young lady, I'm, I'm assuming? Maybe. Okay. I'm not sure because it's just her and I. Okay. okay. So, I mean, she's been here longer. So then I would, yeah. So I she's got. I don't, I don't know. So she has seniority over you. With with time, time or experience, yeah. yeah. Okay. So I, I suggest she should probably take the request, start processing it, and then respond within five days. Okay. So all you need to do, does he just need to write it down? I can write it down. I can send it to an email. Um, I, I'd rather not. I'd rather do it on paper right now. Uh, just well, so I at least I... give you a piece of paper. Yeah, that's fine. Pen. Yeah, I could do that. Absolutely. Okay. Um, the only other issue is that I don't have her name in order to do that public records request. Okay. I want to pull her salary, her position, okay. stuff like that. Yeah, if you want to start filling that out, um, I'll be right back with you. Okay, okay. yeah. Talk to her and do Sounds good. You. Thank you. No problem. Check me out. And if you could just educate her the same way that you educated her, that would be great. Just mm -hmm. so they kind of unsettled, you know, yeah. get a little bit. Yeah, just try to, you know, sweep things up. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm sorry. Hi. Can I speak with you? Sure. Okay. Um, so her first name is Christine. Okay. Um, that you can use to, to reference her. Okay. In that, Christine um, in the finance department? Yep. Okay. I'm going to pull her last name, salary, position, everything. Yep. Um, you know, I can't enforce, you know, the, it, the civil laws about I understand. You know, all that. So that's not really my position to do right now. Yep. Um, I mean, she's breaking policy, not a law, so you can't enforce that. Yep. I, I understand. Um, but uh, are you good with the, the request? Yeah. The yeah. In? What I'll do, who am I turning it into? Um, Just, you receive it? Yeah. Okay. Can you give it to me? 
It's going to be dated and signed, and I need a copy of it stating that it's been received. And within five days, I need a response. Okay. If I don't get a response from that email, that, that could be... I'll have to, I'll have to find what, out whatever you have to do. what I need to do. Yeah, whatever you have to do. And it's I'm a good not... learning experience for you. It really is, you know, um, because if somebody else comes in here and does what I do or if they need records, you'll know how to process that without your superintendent here, you know, so... Um, can we go ahead and make him a, a copy for him? To yeah, I gotta I fill, can, yeah. yeah, I gotta yeah. fill it out first, and okay. then um, yeah, I'll turn it into you, and I'll be on my way. All right. All right. Yep. Um, are you all set? You want to touch base? Are you good? Okay, I'm good. Okay. 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 Are you all set, sir? I'm all set. Yeah, as right. long as you know they're able to do what I'm doing. And... Okay. So um, I just wanted to let you know I'm Christine Phillips, okay. and I do the payroll here. Okay. Okay. All right. And your name is. I don't get that information. I do have a tag here nice for ignorance. It's right here. So. <laughs> I've heard yeah. you say it on the videos. I never really yeah. actually had said right here. Oh, of course it. I do. That's yeah. pretty clever. I like that. So I just want to inform you, okay, that you're taking a picture and video, which is fine. Um, but I am going to FOIA request that. Okay. And it is considered public record at this point. Okay. So I just, I don't want you to delete it. I'm putting you on notice. Okay. Okay? Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All set? Yeah. Okay. Anything else I can do? No, I think that's it. I really professional. I really appreciate it. I know you know my channel. Uh, yeah. It kind of gives it out. But, you know, I'd rather this interaction than, you know, trying to trespass me, arrest me for disorderly conduct. And, you know, I, I really appreciate this. Yeah. And the education is, is even bigger. So. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. Happy to help. Um, yeah. The only thing I'd ask is, I don't know. Obviously, I didn't see what happened. Yeah, I'm all set with her. Recording. Um, but the only complaint was, uh, you know, moving things on desk to look at files. Things I didn't that. touch I'm anything. So if you didn't, totally fine. No. Again, just addressing that yeah. specific thing, if yeah. that's the case. You know, well, I'd she was a little... Avoid, you know, yeah, obviously. Part, yeah, but, because yeah. it's all private, you know, if it's yeah, private information. It but right. what the problem was that she was concerned with is not really touching it. It was the fact that it was information overturned. Okay. Um, and I was trying to inform her that if I can see it, I can record it okay. type of thing. And sure. if she doesn't want me to, she needs to protect that information and turn it around, which she did. So. Okay. All right. So sounds good. All right. If you, if you guys need anything, I'm all set. Yeah, I'm gonna fill this out. Office, yep, so. I'm gonna fill this out, and I'll give it to her. And then uh, Dawn, I think it is right. And um, um, we'll go from there. If you need anything down the PD, our, our lobby in the hallway is closed right now. It is. But if you go around to the uh, to the outside next to the garage there, around okay. back, there's a doorbell right there. Okay. Um, and I can come out and help you out if you need anything. So the back. public lobby is closed. It is today. Why? Yeah. Uh, the staff for the lobby isn't here today. The admin staff. Really? So. Everybody's on vacation? Uh, no. You guys like all going to the same place? Or <laughs> no, something? we got like... trainings and okay. one of our administrators works with the health department too. Okay. So, I mean. But you still service them the people if they need it. Yeah, right? absolutely. Okay. So that's just the way to, to get a hold of us. Just come around to that door and I can okay. help you out. Okay. All right. Sounds good. I think we're all set. All right. All right. All right. We'll take Kudos, care. man. Nice to meet you. Professional. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I'm going to fill this out and I'll return it to you and then we'll go on our days. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So that's my public record request. I'm requesting... Christina Phillips, phone recordings of pictures that she took of me on the date below. I'm also requesting her position and salary as of 2021. I am requesting any and all pictures recordings from Don for listened phone from said date below. Please send all records in P3 PDF form to email below. There you go. So we'll turn this over to Don and we will go about our day. There you go, Don. If you could just um, sign, date it, and then make a copy, just so I know you received it, I appreciate it. What's up? Awesome. All right. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. And um, yeah, we'll go from there. I appreciate it, Don. Thank you. And. Um, Maybe I'll come back soon and do a follow-up on you guys and see how you guys act that next time. At least now you guys are properly educated and, you know, in our rights and you understand them. So that's the most important Have part. Have a nice day. All right. Thank you, Don. Thank you. Have a going. All right, everyone. So that's going to be it over here today in the town of Haverhill, New Hampshire, at the town hall office. The uh, staff upstairs at the SAU for the school district, um, superintendent was not in. Of course, uh, they felt a little uncomfortable with my camera and my presence, uh, refused to answer uh, any questions and refused to do a FOIA request. Um, got all that done at the end uh, with the assistance of the detective over at Haverhill Police Department, which is right next door here. 
very professional. Uh, he does know my channel. He knows what I'm about and actually respects what I'm doing. Uh, kudos to him. I'll put his information up, let him know how he did. I always do like to highlight good officers um, in these departments, in these cities and towns uh, for their professionalism. It's not what we always get. Um, but that's going to be it over here. I appreciate all your support. Please make sure you go like, share, and subscribe to my channel at Press NH Now. Also, check out the playlist to see some videos you might not have seen in the past. Hit that like button. Let all your friends and family know about my activism in and around the New England states. Always check the description. All links will be included. Donations greatly appreciated. They do help me continue my activism in and around the New England area. That's going to be it over here today in the town of Haverhill, New Hampshire at the Town Hall. Press H now. Over and out.